at the moment treating the Woodford serve with a certain Love amount of 15. disdain. Past a serve from Woodford so far has been 108 miles an hour. Look good to Agassi. Woodford. Well played, Woodford. Agassi and leads. A difficult Three. game to win. But when it he did, it's still a break behind, though. Agassi leading 3 2, first set. It's an all court game. He's able to come over the ball, he can hit with slice, he can serve volley, he can rally from the baseline. So he has a lot of options. We saw Mark Filipousis yesterday go down in straight sets to Vacek. Unfortunately for Filipousis, he doesn't have plan B. Mark, on the other hand, has plan C, D, E, and F. He really can mix and match his game to suit or to uh, distract his opponent. That's one of the big things in his favor. But I've been impressed with Andre today. He is not the whirlwind that we've seen of the last two matches. He's really given Mark a lot of off-pace balls high to the back end. He really does seem to be working on that area. I'm a little bit surprised so far that uh, Woodford hasn't made it to the net a bit more often. He's been there three times, only successful once. I imagine it's due to the fact that uh, it's so dangerous to go forward to Agassi. Yes, he's a very difficult man to serve and volley. And Mark, uh, you, you mentioned it earlier, he's not the, the fastest of servers. Uh, fastest serve so far this match is at 108. And that really wouldn't present a lot of problems for Andre returning. Oh. Low, 50. Mark has done so well over the years with Todd Woodbridge in doubles and their first round exit here at the US Open. I was just thinking whether that would give him a little more mental energy for his singles. Fifteen. Oh. Talking of doubles, are they all chums again now? <laughs> well, yeah, they did have a little uh, disagreement, I guess, after the match, but I'm sure they're fine now. But over the years, having played so much doubles, I, I, have to, I get the feeling that he could have done better in majors in past years. 30, 15. Sometimes just too heavy a workload. Did you not make it to the semis with Mark Woodford here? Was it here? Uh, no, we made the uh, semis of the French Open together. French. We're going back a few years now. 40, 50.
First ace, no doubles for Agassi. Agassi leads four games to two. And sitting very comfortably on that uh, break he achieved in the first game of this match. So often happens that he chose to receive. Wise move by Agassi because that's when he broke. He elected to go forward, and Agassi saw him. Those little eyes of Agassi see everything, and uh, he just dropped it nicely, forcing Woodford into the half volley error. Oh. If I was playing Agassi, I honestly wouldn't know which side to attack, Wally. No, that is the difficult thing about Andre. He doesn't have a weak side. There's nowhere you can go for any respite. There's no breathing space there at all. Fifteen. Thirty. Even with a player like Pete Sampras, if you do want some sort of a break and work yourself into a rally you can go to the backhand it's just not the case with Andre he stands so far in the court sometimes inside the baseline and really does rifle it at you from both sides uh, 15 very dissatisfied with that shot but the Patience, Agassi. patience. Agassi, Agassi just leads. showing two. new characteristics as a player, really, in this match. Very intelligent play by him. He's got a double break. Four First change. set, he leads 5-2. Yes, there's been a couple of Agassiz to play. And uh, a lot of the times you can go out on the court against Andre and you get a lot of free points. He's not patient. He doesn't have a real desire to win. When he's in this kind of a mood today, and he has been all week, really, He's come out on the court, uh, great footwork, very positive attitude. He hasn't let anything uh, interrupt his flow or his concentration. It's the reason that he was such a good player. Where, how do you hurt him? How do you break down his game? And just at the moment, he's being particularly patient. He's really trying to break down the backhand of Mark Woodford, which is what I thought Yevgeny, Yevgeny Kafelnikov would have tried to do, but just didn't. So uh, in this mood, with that sort of uh, intensity, I just really don't know that Mark has enough a big enough game to hurt him. Taller of the two men by three inches. I don't know if that's going to help him all that much. Six foot two. The oldest man in the top 100 players on the men's tour. Woodford, not that you'd think it. There was always a lot of conjecture in our Davis Cup team as to whether Mark Woodford was six foot two. A 
Yeah, I haven't thought he was just over six feet. Yes, I think there's a couple of uh, inches of buffy red hair there that he includes yeah, in, the, in the height. Bit unlucky here. Dead net cord, you never know quite what you're going to get at US Open. The net's strung so tight. Almost impossible for Norm Chris to have anything at all to say. He's on the opposite side of the court. Line's been very well placed. Forty or fifty. Showing very good instincts about when to go forward. Agassi. And that point has given him a couple of set points. Six games to two. Well, we are seeing a different Agassi today. We're seeing a very patient one, a very correct one, a very accurate one. And he's choosing his uh, shots very carefully indeed. Second set. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. Well, it's very uncharacteristic for Mark, not known for serving double faults. Maybe just trying to do a bit too much with that second serve. Any time he's dropped it short, he really has paid the penalty. Beautiful play. Absolutely stretching Woodford all over the court. 15 40. Well, I thought Woodford had done well with the backhand slice down the line, but Andre showing a lot of touch, which is never easy when the ball's up around shoulder height at the net. Just angling that away. Notice how he kept the racket head up. Anytime you drop, drop the racket head, you're in trouble. Two break points. 